going into 2022, there are certain marketing trends that can make sure your program is fully booked. Want to find out what they are? Stay tuned. So how do you prepare your marketing heading into a brand new year? That's what we're talking about in this video. I'm going to walk you through four marketing trends that you should keep an eye out and that you should definitely be implementing or thinking of implementing going into a brand new year. As childcare business owners, we have to make sure that we are constantly in front of eyeballs every single week, whether it's through social media platforms, whether it's through local networking. If you want to be able to be fully booked and to have an email list and a wait list that is growing, you have to make sure you do your part as a marketer so that people know that you exist. Trend number one are social messaging apps. So think of WhatsApp or WeChat or even Facebook Messenger. These online platforms have over 4.5 billion users combined using them, which is more than Facebook and YouTube, which means that more and more people right now prefer chatting through a live chat app or through a chat box instead of actually picking up the phone. So as a business owner, you have to make sure that your clients, your potential families can reach you via a social messaging app. So this can be a widget that you implement on your website. It can be leading traffic to your WhatsApp or to your Facebook uh, Messenger in order to start the conversation that way. What this is gonna do for your business is a few things. Number one, it's going to allow you to start that conversation earlier, right? You won't have to go out and try to reach out to people. Offering this tool, you're gonna make sure that you can start that conversation right from the moment that they click. Second thing is that you can start connecting and really nurturing that relationship right from the beginning. So whether they are looking for daycare in the few weeks or in the next few months, you can actually have conversations with people even before um, they actually meet you face to face. And the third thing is, is that they're going to get questions to their answers faster. Okay, so gone are the days where we're sending out an email to customer service and waiting a couple of days before we get um, a response. If you're leveraging these messaging tools, your client is going to get their answers real quickly, right? So whether it's the age um, of the kids that you accept or maybe it's the fees that you have a question about, they're going to get their answer real quickly, which means they're going to know immediately if they're a good fit for your program or not. Trend number two, visual marketing. So think of Pinterest. Think of those beautiful Pinterest boards that we all love looking at when it comes to recipes or arts and crafts or um, do-it-yourself projects. Well, your ideal families, chances are, are millennials. And what research shows us is that more and more millennials are hanging out on Pinterest. So why not create a Pinterest account for your business? Now, you don't have to run traffic to it and you don't have to pay for ads on it, but what you can do is post um, you know, valuable information, things that you're doing um, in your program. Maybe it's a video, maybe it's a little blog post that you wrote, maybe it's an arts and crafts activity that you did with the kids that was a hit. Why not have a presence where your ideal clients are actually hanging out in Pinterest? Well, it's pretty simple to set up. Um, you can post a couple of times throughout the week. And the best part about it is that it is free traffic that is going to direct people directly to your website. Trend number three, video marketing. Now, video is not going anywhere. In fact, we know that video converts 30% more than an image. So when we're thinking of video, we're thinking of going week, going live weekly on our Facebook business pages and talking about our program, any special events, any promotions that we have going on, or even just introducing ourselves once in a while and talking about our educational program. Um, when we're thinking of video, also think of the content that you're posting, right? So instead of posting a an image that you can just copy off of Google, why not create a very short video that you can use on your Facebook business page or your Instagram? These type of posts engage more clients, convert better, and are more eye-catching because that's what we want. We know that 
uh, your client's attention span has dropped to 3%. And it's really important that every image or every video that you're posting stops the scroll and gets them to read and click on your post or on your ad. So videos, well, they do this 30% more. So leverage videos. And no, you don't have to be an expert when it comes to videos. You don't have to be a tech guru. You don't even have to buy an expensive camera. All you need is your simple, uh, basic smartphone, some good lighting, and start the conversation. Another advantage when it comes to video marketing is that as childcare business, as childcare providers, it's really important that we that we uh, show our families locally, you know, a little bit about who we are. And it's really important that when we are creating videos, that we come across as that person. Parents want to know that if they decide to book a tour with you or if they decide to enroll their child in your program, that they can trust you, that they like you, that they get you, that they understand you, that they that they like and they agree what your program is all about. Well, you can definitely do that with a video as opposed to an image that you can just copy off of anywhere and doesn't really tell your client anything about you. There's definitely a different connection when you're using videos. So videos are the way to go. And trend number four, omni-channel marketing. What that means is being found everywhere online. Now, you don't have to uh, be glued to your screen in order to do this. You can definitely use one piece of content that you create and then repurpose it on different platforms. So for example, if you write a blog post about uh, children and the Montessori approach that you decided to implement in your program, then you can definitely use that to uh, repurpose, let's say, over on Pinterest or send it to your email list. You can also use that and cut a few quotes from your blog post and create a graphic that you can post on Instagram. So don't think that because you have to be everywhere that you have to be creating different content all the time. No, again, repurposing is the name of the game. My job is to make sure that you know you don't have to be glued to your screen in order to be able to be seen by more eyeballs and having a system where you're creating valuable content. So whether it's a live video, whether it's something written, whether it's a promotion um, that you can create once and then repurpose on different platforms is really, really important because I want to make sure that you know that you can do that and then you can free up your time so that you can focus on other things. Okay. So there you have it four marketing trends that you should be implementing in your marketing strategy going forward. Now, if you don't have a marketing strategy or if this kind of freaks you out and scares you, I would love to hop on a 15 minute marketing audit call with you where we can talk about your marketing. We could talk about what, what you're doing right now. And then I can share with you how you can fix that going forward. If that interests you, I'll drop a link in the comments. All you have to do is click on it, answer a few questions, and then book the best time that we can chat. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again next week.